Hello again. It's been a while since I posted a video, but uh, a year ago, or about a year ago, I did a top 10 most valuable records in my collection. And I thought it would be just an interesting exercise just to see how things have changed a year on. Have they appreciated? Have they depreciated? Are there new entries? Um, just, you know, an interesting exercise. Some of you may own some of the records in this top 10, so just be interesting to know uh, roughly what they're worth. And um, yeah, so let's get on with it. Um, now, just to make the point, I have only included uh, albums, um, so single albums, double albums. I haven't included any box sets because there's uh, added value in terms of, uh, you know, the packaging with box sets, which I think kind of can um, misrepresent the actual value of the album. Anyway, let's get on with it. So in at number 10, and it was number 10 last year, uh, so no change in terms of its position, is Freedom by Kenny Burrell. Now this is a release from Music Matters Jazz from 2011. It was mastered at Acoustech by Kevin Gray and Steve Hoffman and pressed at RTI. It's a double 45 RPM uh, package and it's coming in at 140 euros. Now, just to clarify, I checked on Discogs uh, for a copy of this uh, that's in uh, the condition that uh, mine is in, i.e. played, and um, uh, the most recent uh, sale of a copy of this, which has been played, which is in a similar uh, 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 condition to mine, which is extremely good, near mint, um, is 140 euros. Now that is a two euro increase on last year. So uh, yeah, pretty much the same, not keeping up with inflation, that one. Um, also in joint 10th place is a record I'm sure you're all very familiar with uh, and probably own, uh, Something Else by Cannonball Adderley. Now this is the uh, uh, Analog Productions uh, uh, release from 2008. Um, it's a double album at 45 RPM, uh, stereo, um, mastered at Acoustech by Kevin Gray and Steve Hoffman, Hoffman, and pressed at RTI. This is a new entry. It wasn't in the top 10 last year, so it's nice to see this in the top 10, because actually it is probably one of my top three jazz albums of all time. And most probably my favourite cover. I just think Reed Miles knocked it out of the park with this cover. It's just absolutely brilliant i love it and the album is fantastic um and i'm sure that you know, most of you have it if you don't seek it out and give it a listen it's tremendous i think uh, classic um i think blue note released it on the classic uh, series uh, a couple of years back so yes that's joint number 10 now that means there's no ninth place so coming in at eighth place another new entry this is uh, Depeche Mode's Violator. Now, this is an original UK edition. It's in tremendous condition, this. I certainly didn't pay what the uh, value is at the moment. Um, the vinyl is uh, absolutely pristine. The cover is extremely nicely looked after. This was released in 1990. And according to Discogs, uh, a copy which is extremely similar to the one I have went for 150 euros. Um, so yeah, interesting. Um, those, some of the originals from the 80s and 90s, they can go for something, can't they? They can go for some decent money. So that's at number eight, a new entry. Coming in at number seven. Now this was number 10, joint number 10 last year with Freedom, is Nora Jones's Come Away With Me. Now this is the classic records release from 2002 on 200 gram vinyl. Uh, it's a gatefold sleeve. It's a single album at 33, uh, mastered by Bernie Grunman. Um, tremendous cut this, uh, so much better than the um, version I had previously, which was just a run-of-the-mill edition of Come Away With Me. This is a very special sounding album, tremendous album. Um, really sounds fantastic. Uh, Bernie Grunman did a hell of a job with it. So this is coming in at 163 euro and that's an increase of 25 euros on last year. So yeah, um, that's appreciated. Probably a little bit ahead of inflation, that one. So that's number seven. Coming in at number six is another classic records release. So this is Us by Peter Gabriel. Um, Peter Gabriel's sixth album, I think it was. 
Uh, this was released in 2002 by Classic Records. Again, it's on 200 gram vinyl. It's a double album at 33 RPM on their Quiex uh, vinyl formulation. Personally, I think the original sounds better. Um, I think Classic Records, their re-releases of Gabriel's catalogue, I don't think sounded as good as the originals. Uh, I have the originals of all his albums and I've done the comparisons and I think the originals sound better. But anyway, I did pick this one up when it was released. Well, actually not when it was released, a few years after it was released. Um, this was mastered by Bernie Grumman. Did I say that? Maybe I did. Can't remember. Valued at 167 euros. That is another new entry, which means we're into the top five and coming in at number five. This was also number five last year. Kenny Burrell's Midnight Blue. Now this is the Analog Productions uh, edition. The light's not great, is it? Can't really see the cover. That's better. It's a uh, this Analog Productions edition is actually quite a dark cover. Tremendous album. Uh, again, one of my top three jazz albums. This one. Uh, this was released by Analog Productions in 2013. Mastered at Acoustech, pressed at QRP. Now this was also number five last year. Uh, this is coming at 176 euros, and that's an appreciation of 11 euros on last year. So, yeah, it's in, it's gone up a bit, probably not in line with inflation, I'd say. Um, but interesting that it's still number five. Number four, a record I'm sure you all have, an, uh, one edition or, or another, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. This is the 30th anniversary edition, which was released in 2003. Uh, mastered by Doug Sachs and Kevin Gray. Um, great sounding version of this album. Um, tremendous sounding version of this album, actually. Uh, and that's coming at 186 euros, which this was uh, a number eight last year. And the value is appreciated by about 38 euros. So that's interesting. That's definitely um, better than inflation. So that's appreciated by quite a bit. Um, so that's number four up from number eight last year. Number three, our last new entry for this list this year is De another Depeche Mode album, Exciter. This is a UK original. It's a double album on 33 RPM. Uh, this was released in 2001. Not my favorite Depeche Mode album, to be honest. Violator would be my favorite, along with uh, Black Celebration and probably Ultra. Um, and a couple of others whose names escape me, but uh, Excite is okay, it's all right. Um, so, but interesting actually that this is valued, this is currently valued around 200 euros uh, for a UK original. So another new entry, uh, this is actually the last new entry in the top 10 uh, at number three. Coming in at number two and knocked off its perch is last year's number one. Blue Hour by Stanley Torrentine and the Three Sounds. Now, this is the only uh, record in this top 10 which whose value has gone down. Um, this was uh, released by Music Matters Jazz. It's on 33 RPM. Uh, it was released in 2015. It was mastered by Kevin Gray and it was pressed at RTI. Fantastic album, lovely late night listen. Really lovely uh, late night jazz. Uh, so if you haven't heard it, I recommend you seek it out. That is valued at 209 euros, uh, which is 21 euros down last year. I think it was 230 euros last year, which means we have a new number one. And in fact, we have two new number ones because both new, uh, number ones are valued exactly the same. Uh, this particular album was also was actually a number two last year. So it's actually gone up a place. Propaganda. Propaganda's A Secret Wish. Now, this version of uh, A Secret Wish is the music on vinyl version, which was released in 2011. It uh, includes an extra LP of bonus tracks. The It was also released in a limited edition run of 500. The first 500, of which this is one, uh, were on a marbled blue vinyl. Uh, Propaganda... Um, Probably the most well-known track on this Propaganda LP is Duel. Uh, Propaganda morphed into another band uh, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s called ACT. Um, tremendous album. Uh, really, really great sounding uh, album too. This was probably a digital file, a uh, digital uh, 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 source, but it still sounds amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, on 180 gram, really great sounding album. 
I, if you haven't heard it or you don't own it, I recommend you seek it out. Which means the other joints, oh, and I should say that this is this was valued at 233 euros, which is an increase of 13 euros. This was at number two last year, so it's up a place. And the other joint number one is my other top three jazz album of all time, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, Monin. This is the Analog Productions it, double 45 RPM edition, which was released in 2008. And it's uh, valued at, it was, sorry, it was mastered by Kevin Gray and Steve Hoffman, uh, pressed at QRP. It was number five last year, and it's increased in value by 83 euros, um, currently valued at, again, 233 euros, same as A Secret Wish. So that's gone up quite a bit. So yeah, that's the top 10 for uh, February 2024. Now I did a quick tot up of those albums which were in the top 10 last year and also appear in the top 10 this year. And the increase in value overall is about 6%, which, depending on where in the world you live, is probably around inflation or slightly below it. Certainly if you're in the UK, it's below inflation. Um, some parts of Europe and uh, the US, I'm sure it's probably above inflation. So, yeah, depending on where you are, your records are either increasing in value or depreciating. Uh, but interesting exercise. Um, I shall probably do the same again uh, in a year's time. Um, I haven't posted any videos for a long time. Um, there are various reasons for that I won't go into. But if you like this video, do give it a like. And if you like this sort of content, do subscribe. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. And it only remains for me to say, keep spinning those records.